Hello everyone. Welcome to Agriculture Insight. Grapes are considered one of the most beloved fruits in the United States, not only for their sweet and delightful flavor, but also for the luxurious products they create, such as wine, grape juice, and raisin, staples in everyday life. But did you know that behind every bottle of fine wine or every tiny raisin lies an intricate and fascinating journey? Let's dive into the incredible process of turning grapes into wine, raisins, and grape juice right now. Across the vast vineyards of California, Washington, and Oregon, clusters of ripe, glistening grapes shimmer under the golden sunlight, signaling the start of the harvest season, typically from late summer to early fall, between August and October. Workers and harvesting machines spring into action, ready to take these fresh, juicy grapes on their journey to becoming exceptional products. When it's time for harvest, modern machinery has become an indispensable tool in large vineyards, where speed and massive workloads are essential. These grape harvesters are designed with advanced technology, allowing them to move smoothly between rows of vines without damaging the grapevine structure. The operation of these harvesters is impressive. They use vibrating bars or gentle shaking mechanisms to create enough movement to detach each grape from the stem without harming the fruit or the vine. Once the grapes are detached, they fall into an integrated conveyor system which transports them to a large collection bin. During this process, the machines are also equipped with a preliminary sorting system that removes leaves, stems, and small debris right in the field, ensuring that the harvested grapes are of the highest quality before being transported. After the grapes are harvested by machine, they are transferred from the harvester's conveyor belt into the trailer using an automatic lifting system. The trailer is designed to be sturdy and spacious, ensuring the grapes stay fresh throughout the journey. Then, the trailer transports the grapes to the collection area, where large trucks are waiting to carry them to the processing plant. This mechanical harvesting method is perfectly suited for grapes destined for winemaking. Alongside red grapes, green grapes are also harvested in the same manner, ensuring they meet the quality standards required for producing wine. The efficiency of these modern harvesters is truly remarkable. One machine can harvest dozens of acres in just a day, significantly saving time and reducing reliance on manual labor. What's even more impressive is that these machines are programmed to operate precisely and in sync, ensuring high productivity while maintaining the quality of each grape cluster. Grape harvesters are a significant investment, with prices ranging from $75,000 to over $500,000, depending on the brand, size, and advanced features. Enjoy the vibrant sounds of grape harvest in the fields right now. After being harvested, the fresh grape clusters are transported directly to the winery, where they begin their transformation into premium wine, crafted with artistry and refined flavors. Making wine from red grapes and white grapes is exactly the same, so let's dive into the more colorful journey of red grapes. The red wine making process begins with receiving fresh grapes harvested from the vineyard. The grapes are quickly inspected to remove any impurities or unsuitable clusters before moving to the next stage. Once received, the grapes are placed on a vibrating conveyor for sorting. The vibrating mechanism helps remove impurities like leaves, small branches, or damaged grapes. On the vibrating conveyor, the grapes are separated from their stems using modern machinery. This process is designed to gently detach the stems without damaging the fruit. The stems are completely removed leaving only the grapes to move on to the crushing stage. After being destemmed, the grapes are sent to a crusher where they are gently pressed into juice. The skins, seeds, and juice are kept together to retain the natural flavors, color, and tannins essential for red wine. This step prepares the raw materials for fermentation. 
The grape juice, along with the skins and seeds, is transferred to large stainless steel tanks to begin settling and fermentation. Fermentation occurs as natural or added yeast transforms the grape sugars into alcohol, creating the wine's unique flavor profile. The process is followed by malolactic fermentation, which converts malic acid into lactic acid, softening the wine and enhancing its texture. Once fermentation is complete, the wine is moved to oak barrels for aging, typically lasting 12 to 18 months. Oak barrels add complex flavors and a better structure to the wine, imparting notes of vanilla or light toast. During aging, the wine also absorbs a small amount of oxygen through the wood, softening the tannins and improving its overall quality. After the wine has aged in oak barrels, experienced inspectors play a crucial role in quality assessment using their refined tasting skills. They carefully draw samples from the barrels and evaluate the wine based on its aroma, flavor, and texture. This hands-on approach ensures that each batch meets the high standards required before moving to the bottling stage. After aging, the wine is filtered and transferred into bottles for preservation and distribution. Wine is bottled in glass. Glass wine bottles are made by melting raw materials at high temperatures, shaping them in molds, cooling them, and inspecting for quality before filling with wine. Next, the glass bottles are placed on an automated conveyor belt, where they are filled with wine using precision machinery that ensures the exact volume is poured into each bottle, maintaining consistency throughout the entire batch. Once filled, oak stoppers are gently pressed into the bottles by specialized equipment to ensure a tight and secure seal, preserving the wine's flavor and quality. After sealing, the bottles travel along the conveyor to be labeled with detailed information about the wine, such as its origin, vintage, and grape variety. Finally, they are stacked on pallets for ease of transportation, ready to delight wine enthusiasts around the world. Some premium wines are sealed with oak stoppers to enhance their elegance and provide a natural, high-quality finish that aligns with the wine's luxurious image. The oak stopper not only adds a touch of sophistication, but also contributes to preserving the wine's flavor and ensuring a tight seal for long-term storage. Alongside modern winemaking techniques, traditional methods still hold their charm. One such method involves crushing grapes by foot in large open vats, where the juice, skins, and seeds are gently mixed to extract flavors, color, and tannins. This hands-on approach prevents the seeds from breaking and adding bitterness, preserving the wine's natural balance. After crushing, the must undergoes fermentation, where natural or added yeasts transform the sugars into alcohol, creating the rich complexity of traditional wine. After that, they are also transferred to oak barrels for aging, just like in the standard modern production process. This process, though time-consuming, is cherished for its connection to history, culture, and the art of winemaking. In addition to winemaking, grape juice production focuses on preserving the fresh, natural sweetness of the grapes without fermentation. After harvesting, the grapes are carefully sorted, washed, and crushed to extract the pure juice. Unlike winemaking, the juice is immediately pasteurized to prevent fermentation, ensuring it remains non-alcoholic while retaining its vibrant flavor and nutritional value. The grape juice is then filtered to remove any impurities, creating a clear and smooth product. Afterward, it's bottled, sealed, and often treated to maintain its freshness during storage and transportation. Next, we come to the process of making raisins. Typically, raisins are made from green grapes because these grapes are seedless and have a high sugar content and thin skin, making them ideal for drying. Once the grapes reach full ripeness, they are left on the vine to dry naturally under the sun. Over a few weeks, the moisture in the grapes evaporates, concentrating the sugars and creating the unique flavor of raisins. This process requires close monitoring to prevent mold or spoilage. When the grapes are sufficiently dried, specialized harvesting machines are used to collect them. 
These machines gently shake the vines, causing the dried grapes to fall onto soft collection trays below, minimizing damage. The raisins are laid out in carefully prepared rows on the ground to dry completely under the sun. Once the raisins have reached their perfect level of dryness, another machine gently lifts them from the ground into containers, preparing them for transport to the processing plant. At the factory, the raisins first pass through a vibrating system that helps loosen and remove debris like stems, leaves, or dirt clinging to the surface. From there, they move to a water-based cleaning system, where they are thoroughly washed to ensure they meet strict hygiene and quality standards before further processing. Next, the raisins are passed through a drying system to remove all moisture. Next, they are sorted automatically by size, color, and quality. Raisins that don't meet quality standards are removed or used for other purposes, such as livestock feed. After that, they move to the manual sorting stage. Workers stand along both sides of a moving conveyor belt, carefully inspecting the raisins as they pass by. Finally, the raisins are packed into vacuum-sealed bags or airtight containers to retain their freshness and natural flavor. The packaging is labeled with information about the origin, nutritional facts, and expiration date. The finished product is then distributed to stores and consumers worldwide. California raisins are a pantry favorite in many homes across the U.S., known for their natural sweetness and chewy texture. Grown mainly in the sunny Central Valley, these little gems start as Thompson seedless grapes, dried right in the vineyards under the California sun. They're perfect for adding a burst of flavor to your oatmeal, cookies, or even a quick trail mix snack. Beyond the kitchen, raisins are also a go-to healthy treat for kids and adults alike packed with energy and nutrients. From school lunches to family recipes, California raisins have a way of making everyday meals just a little bit better. For grapes that are consumed directly, their appearance is very important, so they are carefully harvested by hand. Workers move carefully through the rows of vines, selecting only the ripest and healthiest clusters. Using sharp pruning shears, they gently cut each bunch to prevent any damage to the grapes. The harvested clusters are placed into soft, shallow baskets or crates to avoid crushing and ensure the fruit remains intact. This careful handling at the vineyard is key to preserving the grapes' natural freshness and appearance for consumers. The wholesale price of imported fresh grapes in the United States varies depending on the variety and origin. For instance, 18-pound containers of black seedless grapes from Peru are priced between $48.50 and $50.50, while similar containers from California range from $43.50 to $45.50. After being harvested from the vineyard, the fresh grapes are transported to the packaging facility, where they undergo a meticulous process to ensure they retain their quality and freshness. Grapes are carefully transported on conveyor belts to minimize bruising and damage. Along the line, workers inspect the clusters, removing any damaged or unsuitable grapes. Once inspected, the grapes are weighed into precise portions and gently placed into packaging such as clamshells or bags, using automated systems designed to handle them delicately. The packages are then sealed to preserve freshness and labeled with product details. Finally, they are packed into cartons by workers or robotic systems, ready to be shipped to markets and stores. This process ensures that the grapes arrive fresh and ready for consumers to enjoy. Workers in grape packaging facilities play a crucial role in ensuring fresh grapes reach consumers in perfect condition. They are responsible for inspecting the grapes as they move along conveyor belts, removing damaged or unsuitable clusters with precision and care. These workers often operate in a fast-paced environment, handling the delicate fruit gently to prevent bruising while ensuring efficiency. 
Their efforts, combined with advanced machinery, ensure that every package meets quality standards, maintaining the freshness and appeal of the grapes for markets worldwide. We've just explored the incredible journey of grapes. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or thoughts. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.